Uh, hey everyone, this is Baz at Got a Ukulele. Um, been a while since I've done a video, and a couple of friends of mine had pointed out that um, the video reviews that I've done of instruments was something that they really like to see. I've been keeping up with the written reviews on quite a few instruments on the website, which you'll get um, if you go on the web, www.gotaukulele.com, go to the reviews section. Um, but I've been busy, the website's been busy, the band has been even busier, and I've just not got around to um, sitting in front of a webcam and actually doing some recordings. But that is going to change. I'm going back to some of the instruments that I've written about, and we will start with this one, which um, really did interest me. This is called the Mosalele Bambukalele. Um, and if you read about it, you'll know that this is a pretty neat idea. Uh, Daz at the ukulele club in Moseley uh, near Birmingham got in touch with me a while ago and pointed out that he uh, it's a big club and uh, he was forever getting asked the question you know what beginners ukulele should I buy as you know if you read got a ukulele beginners ukuleles can be a bit of a hit and miss affair so the group got together and said well why don't we specify our own uke get it built um, at a cheap price and sell that to our members or to anybody which is a pretty neat idea really they don't make any bones about the fact they got this one built in China uh, where most beginner ukuleles are made but were pretty specific about what they wanted <coughs> so uh, and this is what came out of that which um, I think you'll agree is is a pretty nice looking little instrument what um, what will really get you though is that this is a concert scale uke and it costs sixty pounds. That's six o UK pounds, so it's that about a hundred dollars, um, which is pretty amazing, really. I mean, that takes it into that sort of. I've bought a Mahalo uke for twenty quid, and now I'm looking at buying something more serious. But I still don't have very much money. It puts it on a par with uh, ukes from Aria. It puts it on a par with the soprano. Lanakai LU21, which is uh, a very popular beginner's instrument. Um, but you'll see as we look over this that there is quite a bit more to this for the 60 quid, which I can't quite get my head around, uh, but there we are. This is an all laminate ukulele um, that is finished with an outer veneer of strips of bamboo, hence the name bamboo ukulele. Um, even if it was solid bamboo, it wouldn't actually be solid because the way bamboo is made, as you can see here, uh, bamboo is a thin plant uh, and there are some solid bamboo ukes out there, but these are, even in the solid version, you can get in thin strips that are glued together. This is actually plywood underneath, so it's a laminate ukulele with a bamboo outer. But I think it looks really pretty. You see these little knots that come in the bamboo. Uh, there if you can see sorry about the reflections but it's pretty cool um, the whole uke as you can see is finished in gloss which for a 60 pound instrument itself is quite unusual um, the gloss over it is pretty well applied there are a few areas around here where the gloss pulls a little bit but you know it's for 60 quid it's, it's really quite nice and shiny um, so there we are so they specified a concert uke um, going further, we have a transfer uh, around the sound hole, the rosette. Now that's that that's a sign of a sixty quid ukulele. But um, whilst that's a sign of a sixty quid ukulele, this is real edge binding. This is black, white, black um, edge binding, beautifully finished. There's not a not a flaw in it. Um, we have some white edge binding at the back as well. Now I I point that out. You know this doesn't. This doesn't make a sound. This doesn't affect the ukulele at all. But um, when you're buying a ukulele, you'll often find that you get the sort of vanilla version, which is very plain, no bling whatsoever. And then they'll do the same instrument again um, for a higher price that comes with things like binding. Uh, it doesn't change the instrument other than the way it looks. But to get this specified in a 60 quid uke um, is pretty special, really. Um, we got the logo on the top. That's the club logo there, Mosalele. No logo label inside, which I think they should have specified, because um, I think people like to see a label inside an instrument. But generally, looking inside the instrument, we've got notched curfling there, holding the back and sides on. Uh, it's really neat and tidy inside. There's no glue seepage. It's, it's been well made. Um, we've got a standard 
rosewood bridge. This is screwed on, which is uh, the giveaway is here with these two mother of pearl uh, inlays, which are covering the screw heads, but that's not unusual for an instrument of this price. Ah, yes, the bane of got a ukulele discussions, the strap button for those people who think straps on ukuleles are the work of the devil. Um, I like straps on ukulele. If you don't want to use a strap on a ukulele, don't use a strap on a ukulele, but I see no problem with them specifying a uke to come with a strap button. You don't see many of these, but nice addition. Um, stops you fretting about fitting one yourself. Standard ukulele shape. Uh, I'm probably not going to be able to show you this, but it has quite a nice bit of curve on the back, which will help with sound projection. Um, and other than that, you know, the body is the body is, is a, a nice thing. We have a, <clears throat> a mahogany neck, which is stacked once at the heel, and there's another join up at the headstock, but it's nice, it's smooth. Uh, some of the gloss finish around here could be better applied, but again, I keep saying, 60 quid ukulele. Um, the nut and the saddle are plastic, which is to be expected at this point. And we have the ubiquitous uh, Martin-shaped crown headstock. Um, the Moseley logo is actually laid on top of the gloss. I think it would have been nicer to have it underneath, but there we are. But how cool is that? To have a ukulele with your band or club logo on it. That's really clever. Um, tuning. Standard. Geared tuners. Yes, I've not taken the little labels off for those people who get irritated by such things. They're cheap, um, but they really work well. You know, they, they don't stick. Quite often with geared tuners, they can grind a little bit where the uh, where the gears are not made particularly well. These are fine. These these work fine. They hold. They turn really smoothly. <coughs> um, rosewood fingerboard and a nice piece of rosewood as well. Quite often with rosewood, you'll get some odd uh, paler spots from, from lower grade rosewood. This is nicely coloured all over. Uh, and nickel frets, mother of pearl fingerboard markers. Sadly no fingerboard markers for the player to look at, but you can add those with a sharpie, I suppose. Um, and it's all, it's all very nice. This one arrived to me set up pretty much as I'd like it. I'd probably think about taking the action down very, very slightly on the saddle, but nothing too bad at all. And the action at the nut, which is the real killer for, for beginners to adjust, uh, is fine. There is no, there are no notes going out of tune when I squeeze here uh, on a cheap ukulele. If you've got a very high nut, you'll find that when you fret these lower, lower frets hard, they will, they will go sharp. Uh, and that's because you're bending the string down out of position. None of that on the on the Mosel Um And I am just pretty uh, astounded by it, really. I don't know how they've done it for the money, although that probably should send a signal to the main ukulele manufacturers that maybe we are being ripped off. Uh, but of course they don't have the advertising, the marketing, the distribution, so they're getting it at cost price. I don't think they're making much money, if any money, on these at all. Which is a nice thing, and if you're in that club, uh, why wouldn't you buy one? But they've opened this up, and if you get onto their website uh, and you Google the Mosalele uh, Ukulele Club, the links for that are on my written review, and they will be in the, the uh, description of this YouTube vid. You can get in touch and you can buy one yourself. As I say, this is a concept model. I understand they're looking at doing some other sizes. Um, but, you know, this is kind of, if you're a beginner and you're looking at spending 50 quid on a ukulele, your first one, you're not sure uh, whether you're going to like playing the ukulele or not, you could do an awful lot worse uh, than buy one of these. In fact, as I said to Daz, there are, uh, there are ukes that cost twice this much, um, which I have seen that come with a worse setup and more flaws and pretty much the... A lesser sound, same sound. <clears throat> As I said in the review, this is this is not a high-end uke, so it's not going to have a high-end sound, but it's got a nice, bright, punchy sound to it that uh, is fine. It's strung with, what else, a keel of strings. I'd probably think about experimenting and seeing what else would work on this, but I understand why a keel of strings come on instruments like this from China. So, you know, it's got a... loud it's 
a little bit out of tune because um, I've just brought it in from a cold room. But honestly, um, intonation is fine. It's not perfect down this end, but you know it is more than acceptable. And as I keep saying, it's a sixty-pound ukulele. Um, so I'd certainly look at trying to check these out. I don't know how much stock they've got, but um, you know it's a bit of a no-brainer, really, if you're looking at ukes at that price. And I think they should probably advertise these a bit more. Um, and the other reason I've put this video up is if you keep an eye on the Got a Ukulele website, it is the fourth anniversary of that website, would you believe, towards the end of this month. And this very uke is going to be given away in a competition. Um, details on that to follow, keep an eye on the website. It's going to be easy, there's going to be a quiz, you send me your details, and the winner is going to get this exact ukulele. Check them out. Well worth it. <laughs>